Hey, what are you doing? 16 Shadow, and today I want to do an unboxing of Dragon Quest Heroes, The Trees Woo, and The Bright Below. And my dog is just happens to be coughing at the same exact time. I don't know why, but she is. Anyways, so it's rated Team for Teens on the PS4 only. It's exclusive to PlayStation 4. Uh, as it says, PlayStation exclusive content right here, which I don't know why it would say exclusive PlayStation content, even though it is only on PlayStation. But whatever. Uh, anyways, um, the Day 1 Edition bonus content, which... This was it's it's the day one edition, but I didn't buy this day one. This is like two three months ago it came out. So if you don't already know this, today is actually Black Friday. I'm recording this on the day of Black Friday. Uh, it's ex exactly six forty three p.m. If you wanted to know that, and um, yeah, so I've been wanting to get this game since release. There was just a bunch of other games coming out the exact same time as this game, and there's a bunch of other games I've already gotten since that time, like Sunset Overdrive, Halo 5, Gears of War Ultimate Collect, or Ultimate Edition, and Xbox One, which I said I will show off the Xbox One at some point, I'm sorry I forgot about that, but I'll do it very, very soon, hopefully if I remember, <laughs> so, I uh, got some other games like Zelda Twilight Force Heroes, I am planning on getting uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and then from that point on, I'll plan on getting Killer Instinct Double double uh double kill yeah double kill something like that including dead rising 3 and even uh mario tennis ultra smash and who knows what else i right now but still this is one of the games i was planning on getting and i'm just trying to catch up with a lot of games i've recently have gotten including uh the last one which i believe i did was transformers devastation if i didn't do an unboxing of it then that's weird but i did do it in my mind in my mind uh anyways uh that's it for that so Anyways, uh, let's do this game. So, here we go. Uh, I know what's inside in a way, but not, like, actually what's what's inside. And by the way, this is a new shirt. This is from, uh, uh, Unique T. Um, it's Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask themed. You have met with the Terra Fae now, haven't you? Now, uh, you know, Happy Mask Salesman with Majora's Mask on it, so. Anyways, um, let's, let's just... Get on through here. So, all right. So there we go. And there you go. All right. So Dragon Quest Heroes, uh, the World's Tree Woe, and the Bright Below. I kind of don't like that name. I know they should have called Dragon Quest Heroes, but the thing is, there's already a game called Dragon Quest Heroes on the DS. So they should have called it like Dragon Quest Heroes Dynasty. Adventures. I don't know. Something weird like that. Anyways, so, so Square Soft or Square Enix, I mean. And the first thing I noticed is that there's a manual or something. So that's good. There's a manual, but it's not a man. Okay, it's not a manual. It's a oh, it's a map like manual. It's it's one of those pamphlet ones. Uh, there's some companies that still do it like this. I don't know why. I just prefer a manual book like one, but whatever. So there's the manual with all the characters as much as possible. I'm not sure about the unlockable ones. Uh, skill sets and play moves. So and also does the controller itself. So yeah, all right, it's good to good to know. All right, um, no idea how it was. Uh, yeah, it just goes right here. She's from what Final Fantasy? Oh, not Final Fantasy. Which Dragon Quest? It does not tell me what Dragon Quest. I swear it would at least tell me what Dragon Quest. It doesn't. All right, so here is the code for Dragon Quest Heroes. Uh, there's at least several codes I am noticing. This, this, okay, I can show this side. So there's this pamphlet, and it shows me Dragon Quest Heroes, uh, five in-game items, um, which has the same thing in like two other languages. We got the Slime Sword, the Goomerang, the Sagli, I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's like a spear. The other one's a uh, Varachar. Oh, my bad. Sorry, Gun Gunjiner. That's the spear, and his squashing rod, and then uh, gooey gloves. So I didn't really see that. And then there's a code, which I don't want to show the code off. And then if I open it up, uh, it tells me that use the code in front to access downloadable content in the game. Uh, so that's great and stuff. So I guess I'll show you the items, but not the code. Let's see if I can show. There you go. So that's the best I could probably really do. Hold up. No, better. We do it like that. So yeah, there's the items, the five magical items that you get with this game. So 
Uh, that's it for what's in here. I mean, what's what's in here? I mean, I'm just putting back the pamphlets and what's not in here. Anyways, the, the next and final thing in here, of course, you want to for sure know if it's in here, is the actual game. Dragon Quest Heroes, uh, The Trees Woe and The Bright Below. So, anyways. So, the disc, of course, looks phenomenal. Great. It's just brand new, basically, so. Anyways, that's seriously it for today, everybody. Um... I, like I said, I'll try my best to collect the remaining games of the year I'm trying to get. Uh, like I said, it's just like Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh, like, I don't remember the other rest of the games, but there's a couple other good games I wanted to get uh, this year. And uh, I'm not really collecting any of my retro games right now because, well, the newer games are kind of like new and I want to get them when they are new and so I can get some of these, well, now. So, it's not like I'm going to wait for some other games to drop down because I really don't care for a lot of them. So, like, Dying Light, it looks interesting, but yeah, I'm just going to wait until it just keeps dropping <laughs> in price. Uh, but very am very interested in wrestling one. I'm uh, hearing it's just not as good as 14, but I'm hearing it's improved since 15 for sure. So I'm very interested in that. And my leg is very, very itchy. I'm sorry about this. Anyways, everybody, that's going to be it for today. So, uh, last thing I guess I want to see is the back of it, which I'll read to you. Uh, see. <clears throat> A horde of monsters draws near. Uh, the day one edition bonus content includes five in-game slime items, the ones I just named, heroes, battles, and monsters. As a legendary Dragon Quest heroes, Take up the fight and restore order to the kingdom of Arba. Uh, battle hundreds of monsters with slicing swords, sizzling spells, and slimes. And then uh, drive back the monster horde, triumph over gigantic beasts in epic clashes. Uh, so it's a 26 gigabyte minimum. I don't really know what that means, but um, I know that you can only play with this if you have at least that much memory and stuff okay so yeah anyways horde of monsters draws near so yeah that's that's kind of really it for that and of course this is the spine which to me the spine is boring dragon quest heroes uh which is just white so anyways that's it for today thank you for watching everybody don't forget to like the video subscribe like below and i'll see you guys all for the next uh unboxing which it's very sketchy. It could be the, the Xbox One thing I was going to talk about, or even Xenoblade Chronicles X, which comes out exactly a week from now, or it could be something else. So anyways, thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys all for the next one, alright? Bye.